All right, guys, we're up here at the Salem Card Show. They were just hit with a tornado earlier this week. A lot of debris everywhere. Make our way in. Last time we were out here, they had a pig contest going on. This is the fairgrounds. And right down in that door area there is where we're heading in. What's going on everybody got from the salem card show a little bit earlier today but uh haven't had a chance really to um do the ending to the video which is now did pick up from three different dealers at the show floor i was looking at a picket um panini one auto it just had the plain white jersey on too guy had stickered for 600 when they're averaging like five to 520 and he tried to play it off, which was really funny. Oh, he's going to be a stud this year. You should have seen him play last night. I'm like, man, I'm from Pittsburgh. I watched the game, played one series in a preseason opener. That doesn't mean anything. And he just stared at me. And I'm like, listen, I'll give you like my top dollar onto it, which was 475 which is me paying very, very strong for a Kenny Pickett Panini 1 auto that has... Just the white, we call it the old white napkin patches on to it. There were a couple of people around me that agreed that I was actually offering a very strong price on to it. And my thought was, I got to spend $40 to grade it. I know it's sealed by Panini, but for me, just to go with my Pigot collection, it would, you know, just have to be a PSA slap. And he's like, no, no, I can't go above, above $550. And he even said the last sale was $523. But yet he wanted more money for it because Pickett had a great preseason opening series. Freaking crazy. Um, the other one was I found a, I don't know what year Flawless it was, but a um, Mariano Rivera out of seven. Last sold $150. Guy would not budge off $150. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. And he also had this Acuna, what do they call it? Um, Diamond Icons, Red Ink. So the only thing I could find though was a PSA 10 sold for 700. So you're looking at like a third of the price. So to in my thing, so you're looking. I don't even know what that comes out to. Like was that 233? He wouldn't budge off of 250. Then he tried to say, well, "I'll give you the pair for 350." I'm like, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, if you really think about it, if this guy, unless he's a power seller from back in the day on eBay, he's sitting at 15 percent. And there's a lot of people I tell them, you know, hey, some stuff I'll pay strong on, some I can't if they want to sell it. It's up to them. But uh, I just, I don't get some of the mentality going on, especially when you could find those cards almost anywhere out there. I can see it on cards that you don't see every day, you know, getting full value onto it if you possibly could swing that to a collector. But wow. Just some of the stuff I've seen walking around just really amazed me. 
Nothing, like I said, against the guy runs Salem Card Show. He does a really, really good job. So, uh, I think, I don't know if I, you could hear me in the beginning of the video. I was trying to tell you guys they had a tornado come through there. And I was going to show you guys all the trees that are down on the, once you get off the main street. It was crazy. It was like a uh, freaking obstacle course coming in. I mean, even though the city's been out there trying to cut them up and stuff, this was crazy. But uh, we had a little little storm come through there. Say to close the doors. It got so hot in there. Uh, it was it was like everybody was baking in a tin can. But it, it was a really good show. There was a lot of people in there. Thankfully, a um, couple of the dealers that came in there, we were able to get into, you know, into a bigger deal onto some Hall of Fame autos, uh, some newer stuff, and then talked to another dealer that was in there. And I got to pick up a real nice car at a good price. And I, I really thank him. And I th actually, I thank all three of the dealers. If I know one guy watches the videos. For always working with me on this stuff and leaving me room for, you know, sending to be grading and stuff like that there. Um, it, it's always, it's really appreciated on to it. So, I don't think these are in any specific order because I started setting these up into... Actually, let me try to get them into an order here. No, actually, I think these are in order now. Pretty sure. Might be one out of order. Alright, so the first one was off of a younger kid and his... Oh, I should say kid. A younger guy and his wife up there. He had these on his table. There's someone to redeem. Jalen Williams. He plays... This is, There's only one football card. Sorry. Sorry, Wildcat. Well, when you had time, there's only one football card. I'm pretty sure there's only one. Um, just wasn't a lot there unless I would have picked up the... Um... Kenny Pickett, but a lot of stuff, it just wasn't in my what I wanted to pay for stuff. Or it was just nobody wanted to move off their prices, and I know I can get it elsewhere at a better deal. So, Pacini, Panini, I was going to say Pacini, Panini Obsidian, Rookie Eruption, Jalen Williams, he's got around 60 bucks. Jalen Williams, this is going to go out to be graded, that's why it's in this. Uh, I wanted to get some couple cards to try to grade, only one's really going to go out. And then Keegan Murray, Revolution Rookie. A lot of people are high in this kid. But I got more for just a showcase than anything else onto it. Um, gave me a really, really good fair deal on this. Uh, I, I couldn't ask for anything more onto, you know, the newer stuff. Get being very fair onto. Let me get the le one card out of here. Hopefully it's the bottom one. It is. Okay, okay. These, they all, I got it all stacked right, too. So... This uh, card here was from a dealer I met towards the end. He had some really nice stuff that was older. I've never seen this card. I've always seen the redder looking one. It's a Tony Gwynn Auto from Skybox. And the they're both 99s. And I mean, it still has the embossed thing on it and everything like it. I've seen some for sale. I just don't know what the real price range is onto this card at all. But... I'm going to have to really, really dig into it, I think, to try to find something onto it. But the only ones I could find were, like, the redder-looking ones. I guess that once I look up the sets and stuff on I'll be able to figure it out more. This wasn't a card, like, in 1999 that I was out there buying boxes of, so it kind of throws me in a loop offhand. I know the embossed piece onto it was a thing with, uh, back in the day from Skybox, what they call it, the seals and stuff like that there. But, pretty cool piece. Uh, most of this stuff will actually already be gone, I'll be honest, by the time this video goes up, because some of this stuff's going, uh, I know people want it, I'm just going to get rid of it uh, later this evening. Okay, the first two I worked, took us a little bit to go through it and stuff like that. He always has a lot of Hall of Fame stuff, so first up, select David Robinson. If you guys remember me talking about um, these cards... David Robinson must have signed a bunch of stickers because they're all like this to where his top is all cut off at. I guess he's not signing anymore or something for Panini because you don't see any other sticker except for these ones that are cut off across the top. You remember when I PSA 10, it was the same thing. I started looking online. They're all like this. Spectra Catalyst, David Robinson again. Look, cut off going across the sticker onto it. This is a really cool one. Out of five, Larry Bird Obsidian. Obsidian is just not one of those products you really want to grade at all. They're very, very hard onto surfaces and stuff like that. They're just the way they're manufactured. But being out of five, Larry Bird, 
pretty cool. I, I don't think this is probably more than a $150 car, even though it's out of five. Um, just thinking off of what was some like the Mojo Prism uh, being like 150 out of tw uh, PSA 9, and that was out of 25. And this is still raw, of course. I do think I might end up sending that in eventually to be great if I still have it after a while. Frank Thomas, Diamond Icons. Uh, this is out of 10. Silver ink. Don't know if that means anything. I just know all the baseballs. Silver, green, purple, blue. This is really cool. Joe DiMaggio, SP Legendary Back Cards. I want to say this was O... Oh, we had to look this up. I think it's O... Oh, one or oh seven i think it's 2001 but pretty cool piece on to the dimaggio bat piece a lot of people like their hall of fame stuff so like i said i this this guy has really vamped up when i first met him a few years ago he had nice stuff in his cases but now i was telling him you're up to four showcases there's good good stuff into here and we talked about to find stuff like this you know you gotta pay to get it. it, it you can't just open product up expected to be in every box. Next up, playoff Allen Iverson auto out of 49. Sticker on this actually, I'm almost tempted. I want to send to be great, to be honest. If you guys see marks on the back, this is the freaking sleeves. And then, oh, finally, I'm sorry to mean to have this. Did not purposely turn out to be the, like this is the last card of football card, but it is. Joe Montana, certified, out of eight. But not bad today for finding stuff like this out there. Very, very happy with it. Um, again, thank you to all the dealers out there uh, that worked with me on the stuff like that there. Because a lot of times, you know, I may miss prices because the way I'm looking it up versus the way they looked it up out there. There's no for sure way when you type in your keywords into like eBay, 130 point, Terra Peak, whatever you use, that you're going to get the full scope onto it. At least I will say with like all, when I scan a, a graded card in, it's pretty much giving me all the other sales below, even if I don't agree with what their evaluation of the card is. I wish somebody would make something similar like this and not center stage, because center stage was not able to pull anything on these cards. It was just ridiculous. But, or if there's somebody just make it to her, I could sit there and, you know, type in, um, like, you know, 1999 Skybox and Tony Gwynn autograph. And it would pull it all up that way for me and give me more results than just eBay. But I know, I know it's a big dream, big dream I have. But sometimes it just makes it hard because you have to, way people have make their titles or, and stuff like that and their listings you're searching versus the listing heading, not the actual attributes, which is what the correct way should be doing it, if that makes sense. So, like, for my title, I might just put Tony uh, Scott, uh, Skybox Tony Gwynn autograph. Something plain, but when I go to search for it, because I might search it with something else onto it with a year in it, it may not pop up where the guy spells Skybox or he puts a hyphen in it or something like that crazy. So... With that there, I just wish there was a way to where we're not using the listing titles, which a lot of times have incorrect spellings and everything else onto it. Instead, whenever they're making you do all the attributes on there, and I got, you know, Tony Gwynn, boom, Skybox, boom, clicking down and all this stuff, that I could use that in order to actually find everything that went on with that card. So hopefully that, that kind of makes a little sense. Maybe somebody out there is smarter than me. Can, uh, actually uh, make something like that. But that, guys, great show. Um, as always, to the people that run the Salem Card Show, very, very good. Um, oh, I was going to tell you, uh, this guy, he's like telling everybody, hey, I got water, or there's drinks back here in the refrigerator. Get yourself cold drinks. You can't ask for anything more for somebody that's not charging admission to come in. Offering cold drinks, you know, for people coming in and because when you close the doors, it got hot and stuff into there. So I, th I don't know if he brought donuts in. I know he does pizza for everybody at the show and stuff like that. He orders, you know, 10, 12 pies and tells everybody, hey, free pizza. Yeah, really, really good job down there. Um, never gotten to stay that late as a buyer, as a seller. I just know what he does down there, what I used to set up at him. 
But overall, really good show. Um, really nice to see different dealers come in there too that I haven't seen before to where, you know, it's different cards. But all right, guys, I'm out. been rambling way too much. You can tell I'm tired. It was up to 2 a.m. last night. Had to be up at like 6 something this morning to get out, get ready, get ready to go to Salem and everything. But I am out this time, promise. You guys have a good one. Later.